And now for something completely different. You see, we align, we align her boobies up oh, with the camera. You turned it on. Not supposed to that's how I. That's how I line things here. up. You get the nipples on the right, the guitar on the left. Such a fucking pervert. <laughs> it's the little things in life. I'm gonna move that thing not to the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Brad will never get out of bed. He'll have it at the ceiling. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's art, honey. Don't be such a pervert. It's art. It's mine. I love it. It's fine. Okay. I wouldn't put it in the dining room if I didn't like it. Yes, I know. Anyways. And that's why everybody sits on that side of the table. <laughs> I had two girls on one side and it was like a row All of the seven guys. guys. <laughs> what does he mean by that? What and does it mean? It's almost like there's a big screen in a sports bar or something. They keep staring up at it. Yep. Or they they try not to stare, but they do, and then they look away, and then they do, and they look. Everybody's so quiet on that side of the table. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> we're all animals. We know. Nom, nom, nom. But it's art. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna do some pun slinger because it just came on YouTube. Yes. Now, I know there might be some copyright issues, so I'll fiddle with it and fart with it and do all the things with it. So, uh, this is an hour long. Hope you enjoy it. Let's try to get through the whole thing if we can. If we can't, we got to pee, whatever. we got to laugh our ass off. Brad might have to poop. <laughs> we'll try it. So, Pun Slinger is one of, his, <laughs> one of his best. And there's also, I think, a making of Pun Slinger. So, if we get through this, oh, okay, we get to okay. watch that. Okay. Nice. <laughs> it's quite the opening. Here we go. Here we go. I said lasso. <laughs> <laughs> it's not lassie. <laughs> Here we go. Good evening. I'd like to start tonight with the cowboy jokes. I've got seven, and they're magnificent. <laughs> Hey. This hat is not one of my direct relatives. He's my stepson. <laughs> hey. You know, I used to have metal stars attached to the back of these shoes, but I took them off. Spur of the moment. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, a bit of upholstery. <laughs> Imagine if I did this for an entire hour. I'm going to. <laughs> this bloke said to me, so how come sitting bulls in your flower bed? I said, that's my cabbage Apache. <laughs> He said, can you name an Indian tribe that scalp people? I said, not for Tom, man, no. <laughs> so I went to his cowboy's house, his clothes are all over the floor. It was Messy James. <laughs> I'm actually wearing cowboy lingerie. Yeah, the silky bras are on me. <laughs> and that's all the cowboy jokes. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. I can see the set designer at the back of the room going, what do you mean that's all the cowboy jokes? <laughs> oh. I don't know why I put myself through this. <laughs> <laughs> Three cheers for rap music, hip hop. <laughs> Actually, my name isn't Tim Bun, it's Tim Buck Two. Sorry, I was miles away. <laughs> By the way, if you see a vicar covered in spaghetti, don't worry, he's the local pastor. <laughs> local pastor? My local tramp wants to be a vicar, beggar's belief. <laughs> now, I've just found out that all the proceeds from tonight's show go towards a free car, so that's good, isn't it? Mm. Oh, sorry, Africa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a waste, coat. <laughs> so, I bought this power oh, shower. On the boxes, it feels like the water's coming down from Niagara Falls. First time I used it, got hit on the head by a bloke in a barrel. <laughs> So I went to Dixon's, the sound assistant slapped my mm -hmm. hand in midair. I said, no, I said, show me your hi-fi. <laughs> <laughs> he said, have you got a hard drive? I said, no, it's gravel. <laughs> <laughs> and then I bought one of those flat screen aquariums. What a waste of money. There's not enough room for the fish to turn around. <laughs> and this bloke said to me, do you think it should be illegal to own a plot of land on the moon? I said, it's a grey area. <laughs> He said, what do you think of black holes? Oh, sorry, I don't know what people's in them. <laughs> so... <laughs> I went to the 
doctors. Oh, so I keep visualising a biscuit with fruit That's in it. It's a figure of your imagination. <laughs> And then he told me I was addicted to daydreaming. Makes you think, doesn't it? <laughs> I had a dream last night. I was stuck driving round and roundabout. With my right hand, I was steering. With my left hand, I was making pancakes. All night, tossing and turning. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, um, I was walking down the street, 600 feet above sea level. It was a high street. <laughs> And my girlfriend said to me, she said, Tim, how come you always walk in front of me? I said, I'm sorry, I don't follow you. <laughs> and this bloke said to me, how would you like to own Wembley Stadium, Wembley Arena and all their facilities? I said, you try to give me a complex. <laughs> Hit the music, please. One of my hands is missing. One of my hands is missing. One of my, one of my, one of my, one of my, one of my hands is missing. One of my hands is missing. One of my hands is missing. One of my, one of my, one of my, one of my, one of my hands is missing. You gotta admit that song's got a great hook. So I went to a karaoke night at the Vatican. London, Paris, New York, Munich, everybody talk about mm, pope music. <laughs> Someone said to this German, I said, can you tell me where the pope lives? He said, that I can. <laughs> and I bumped into the Archbishop of Canterbury, Canterbury, not the Archbishop of Canterbury, he came up to me, Meow. do you want to go to church? <laughs> no, the Archbishop of... The Archbishop of Canterbury came up to me, he said, you're excommunicated. I thought I got an email from an old girlfriend. <laughs> you're excommunicated. You're excommunicated. <laughs> you don't understand any of this, do you? But you know, a lot of people in this world are very self-aware. Uh, you know who you are. <laughs> when I was a teenager, I had a mentor, half man, half bull. <laughs> you remember Theseus, he had a friend who was half man, half bull. They performed all around the country. They didn't go to a lot of places. It was a minotaur. <laughs> and this bloke said to me, so I can tell you what's going to happen to your nose in the future. I thought, flipping neck, it's nostril dramas. <laughs> oh, I finally popped the question. <laughs> I wonder if that was set up or right? Yeah, no, that was set up. It was good. It must have been. Autumn backwards. <laughs> Look at the size of that gherkin. I, um, oh, God. I've got a friend who just joined the gypsy wing of the Masons. They meet in a travel lodge. <laughs> so I rang up the AA. I said, can I have an itemised bill? He said, we don't do breakdowns. <laughs> so I borrowed some money off one of the seven dwarves. I'll tell you what, he wasn't happy. <laughs> I gave him a scrap of paper. He said, what's that? I said, it's a hi-ho you. I said, it's a hi-ho you. <laughs> So I was in this hospital and I saw this pixie, and this pixie was elated. Um, well, it was pixelated, so I couldn't see his face. Oh. <clears throat> oh, my God. And I said to him, I said, pixie. He said, yes. I don't know why he crouched. He was tiny as it was. <laughs> I said, pixie. He, he said, yes. Oh, my back, I went then. I said, to, I said, are you here to give blood? He said, I'm not allowed to give blood. I said, why not? He said, I've got too much hemoglobin. That's all it was. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a little bit of audience participation. Well, I want to get you involved anyway. <laughs> yes, prevent the U from hitting the floor. He's got to stay airborne. Hit the music, please. Prevent the U oh, from hitting the floor. Awesome. He's, oh, he's on the floor already. That's it. Prevent him from hitting the... Oh, he's on the floor again. He's got to stay. He's got to stay airborne. <laughs> he's a... No, no, he's... A... That's fucking I'm sorry. brilliant. Can I have it back here, please? Can I... <laughs> Can I have... Can I... Have you, um, have you never played Sheepy Uppy? <laughs> the whole song was the singing fish, backup singers. I played table football today, it was an away match. <laughs> so I went to the vet, I said, how come my dog's got legs like hockey sticks? He said, he said he's a lacrosse breed. <laughs> He said, my dog's got no dictionary. I said, how does he spell terrible? <laughs> so one day 
down the local beach and I saw the Queen wearing her husband's shoes. I said, Your Majesty, why are you wearing your husband's shoes on the beach? She said, These are my flip flops. <laughs> And then I saw the chief executive of Tesco's drowning, so I threw him a cork. Every little helps. <laughs> he said, I want to be self-employed. Have you got any advice? I said, yes, mind your own business. <laughs> so I went to the careers office. I said, I want to work on a submarine. He said, overseas? I said, no, that's a hovercraft. <laughs> you see, when I was a lumberjack, I put on a different shirt after every tree. Always chopping and changing, that was me. <laughs> At the same time, I was making up gags for Willy Wonka. I don't do that anymore. Well, I can't write jokes for Toffee. <laughs> and then oh I started running a dating agency for chickens. But it's just a real struggle trying to make hens meet. <laughs> <laughs> so now I run... Um, thank you, without applause, isn't quite catching on. Um, now I run my own colonic irrigation business. That takes it out of you, I tell you. <laughs> it's a bit quiet in the summer, what with the hosepipe ban. <laughs> So I went down to a local cinema and um, this horse walked in. I said, I said, what are you doing here? He said, he said I've come for the matinee. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to do a song, ladies and gentlemen, about the cinema. It's called Cinema. Hit the music, please. When I go to the cinema and the listing says the film starts at three I know the film doesn't actually start at three And there's 20 minutes of trailers and adverse first Oh yeah <laughs> So now when I go to the cinema and the <gasps> listing says the film starts at three I leave my house at about five past three So I can avoid all the trailers and adverse and stuff Oh yeah <laughs> But sometimes I get caught in a bit of traffic and I missed the first minute of the film It hurt so bad And other times I time it just right And the film is rubbish <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a song I'd make up on Sunday Yeah, it does I'll tell you what, these, um, these swimming goggles are posh, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, not quite as posh as this swimming monocle. <laughs> it's time for a bit of poetry. There was an old man from Limerick who was completely unaware of the short, often humorous poems that shared the same name as his hometown. <laughs> but people say strange things. And this bloke said to me, he said, what's the order of the day? It's morning, afternoon, evening. <laughs> And I went to this girl's house, she had an eight-foot light switch. What a huge turn-off. <laughs> Do you know, I read an incredible statistic today. 456,000. That's massive, isn't it? <laughs> so I was, uh, I was on my own in this museum, and um, there was a camera in the corner of the room, so I started making faces at the camera and, and doing a few moves. Do you think the ancient Egyptians really used to walk like that? <clears throat> Just get the milk out of the fridge? <laughs> anyway, I was making face at the camera, I felt a tap on my shoulder, I looked round, it was a security guard. He said, what the hell do you think you're doing? I said, I'm really sorry, I was feeling a bit childish, making faces at the camera. He said, that's a smoke alarm. <laughs> but if you want to go somewhere that you're definitely being filmed, stand in the middle of a train station platform late at night, you'll have about seven or eight cameras on you. So what I do if I'm ever there, on my own, I stand in the centre of the platform and I freeze in that position like that. <laughs> Because I know that in a building nearby, some poor sleep-deprived security guard will be banging the side of a monitor. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to confuse him, hold it for a bit, then start walking backwards. <laughs> <laughs> of course, they've got those station help points now as well, and they've got a little speaker with a red button. So if, you, if you're being mugged, you press the button, and at the same time as being mugged, you can have a conversation with a member of staff. <laughs> It happened to me, I was being mugged, and uh, that's the move I do when I'm being mugged. <laughs> Tends to put them off. I press the button, I said, I'm being mugged. He said, I can see that, we've got seven or eight cameras on you. <laughs> anyway, he couldn't come and help me, all he could do was give me advice. So he said, keep the guard up, work to the body. <laughs> but unfortunately, my attacker could hear the same advice. So what I'm saying is, I should have a headphone socket. <laughs> You know, I was once attacked by a tobacconist. It's true, I've got the cigars to prove it. Tobacconist. <laughs> I saw this baby sheep covered in plastic, laminated. Come on. <laughs> Do you know, I, do, I don't like lion bars. No, I, they're such unwelcoming places, aren't they? Lion bars? 
you want ice with that? I don't like that at all. Don't this bloke said to me, he said, he said, hummingbirds make a nice noise, don't they? I said, hmm. <laughs> and you know, I was, I was listening to the radio, it said, the top speed of a chicken is 20 miles an hour. And I know that's rubbish, because I was once in a food fight in KFC. <laughs> and I swear that drumstick was doing 80. <laughs> I swear it, ladies and gentlemen. No. Just so, but by the way, here are some jokes that won't be appearing in today's show. Um, Velcro, what a rip-off. That's not, not doing that one. And um, Black Beauty, he's a dark horse. And also, <laughs> won't be there. He said, ah, yes, that's the next joke. Um, <clears throat> I'll give that a miss. <laughs> <laughs> now, out of interest, um, what's your, fa your favourite bird? Have you got a favourite um, type of bird? What sort of... The eagle, what is it about the eagle you like? This, it's, it's size. I didn't know they did that. <laughs> oh, this, this size, right, that's it. You must have got very close to me. <sighs> but it's nice that you should say the eagle. It's nice. I'll tell you what my favourite bird is. My favourite bird is the cuckoo, because the cuckoo tells you what it is, doesn't it? It goes cuckoo, and you know exactly what it is, don't you? Whereas the robin, the robin goes... I didn't tell you anything. I think it'd be a lot better if the robin was going, Robin, <laughs> Robin. In fact, wouldn't it be great if God had made all birds like that? Robin, pelican, pelican, pelican. <laughs> puffin, puffin, <laughs> lesser spotted grebe. <laughs> Golden eagle. Mm. <laughs> Do you know, I saw this raven going mad. He was crow crazy. <clears throat> Sorry, I saw his crow going crazy. He was raving mad. Was it? He was raving mad, yeah. <laughs> now, I'd like to lighten the mood a bit now and talk about the Nazis. Because <laughs> they used to walk like that, didn't they? It was called the goose step, because it was actually modelled on the way a goose walks. If you watch the way a goose walk, they have a very, very stiff leg walk like that, and very occasionally, one wing in the air. <laughs> oh but imagine how different history would be if they modelled it on a different bird. Look out, here come the Gestapo! <laughs> <laughs> But not a lot of people know that Adolf Hitler, he used to work at Butlins. Yeah, he wrote a book about it, it was called Mine Holiday Camp. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, when I was in Vietnam, I, um, I had a job as a toilet cleaner. <laughs> I still get flashbacks. <laughs> So, I went down to my local zoo, I said, how come that grizzly smells of cheese? He says, a camembert. <laughs> so I got home, my horse was sitting in an armchair with a glass of wine. I said, uh, I said what's that? He said, it's a Chardonnay. <laughs> Matinee Chardonnay, there's loads of them. As long as you space them far enough apart, the audience never, ah. <laughs> I live next door to a horse, he's my neighbour. <laughs> the other day I borrowed his lawnmower. <laughs> Talking of which, you know, I looked out the window the other day and my dad was slumped over the lawnmower, crying his eyes out. And I said to my mum, I said, what's up with him? She said, he's just going through a rough patch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I said to my horse, I said, do you want to go out for a ride? He said, all right then. So, so, so we went out and after about five minutes, I said, can I go on you for a bit? <laughs> So I got on him and I was, I was like that, and um, he's, he's quite a short horse, I, <laughs> my feet were touching the ground, I was holding his nostrils, I was like this, and um, in fact to be honest I wasn't sat on him at all, I was running along like that, he was underneath me, he wasn't there, I haven't got a horse. <laughs> no I have, and I went, went past a nuclear power station and he flipped me up in the air, because he's radioactive, write that down, <laughs> and then cross it out, cross it out. And this bloke said to me, he said, I've just built my Scrabble set on the road. I said, what's the word on the street? <laughs> he said, I can't think of another word for stitch. I said, is that so? <laughs> and then he started throwing words at me that began with TH. I managed to dodge this there and then, but I didn't see that coming. <laughs> and then he said, this inflatable monkey went past. An inflatable monkey. Look at you all trying to work it out. An inflatable monkey. Oh, God, it's like a math lesson, Hillary. Inflatable monkey. Hang on a minute. It's a hot air baboon, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> I like monkeys. The only thing I don't like about monkeys is when I've got to remove midges from them. But that's me nitpicking. <laughs> 
was surfing. And, um, and this bloke came out of the water and stole my wallet, which I have with me for the purpose of the joke. <laughs> well, it was a crime wave. <laughs> and he said to me, he said, uh, he said, if you don't give me your money, I'll shoot you with my air rifle. I said, if you do that, I'll hit you over the head with my air guitar. <laughs> yes. No one threatens me with imaginary weapons. <laughs> I was once the victim of crime in a terrible way. I'll tell you what happened. I was walking down the street, as I so often am, and, um, and a bloke jumped out from behind a tree, and he was wearing a balaclava, completely covered his face. I think he had it on backwards. <laughs> and he pointed at me, he said, Remember Leonardo DiCaprio? And then he just ran off. And then later that day, I, I was on the bus. Um, I wasn't driving it. <laughs> I was comparing the weight of two pineapples. <laughs> And the same bloke jumped on, he pointed at me, he said, remember Leonardo DiCaprio? And he just ran off. And uh, then later on that day, I, I, was, I was in my bedroom, I looked out the bedroom window, I couldn't see anything at all, so I opened the curtains. <laughs> and there in the front row, same man, he pointed up at me, remember Leonardo DiCaprio? I thought, I've had enough of this. So I rang up, I rang up the, uh, the police, I said, I think I'm being scooped. He said, can you tell me anything about this bloke? I said, yes, he reminds me of Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> He reminds me. <laughs> so stupid. Oh no, it's well, That's what brilliant. it says there. Oh my god. <laughs> tea bags, with tea. There we are, the tea, tea bags. bags. There we are. It's whole grain. <laughs> Hit the music, please. <laughs> Squeaky shoes. <laughs> If you own a pair of squeaky shoes Wear them everywhere Don't just walk in them Dance, dance in them It's about a minute too long, right, isn't it? <laughs> it's so stupid! Oh my God. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, keep that applause going. Oh, you've stopped. <laughs> Let's hear it for the Variety Pack display team! Let's hear it for them, yes! It's a tricky manoeuvre that, the honey nut loop the loop. <laughs> Last time he attempted that, the pilot was ripped to shredded. <laughs> Yes, he Coco popped his cologne. Oh, the box is a cereal. Yeah. Okay, okay. Jeez. He couldn't sustain it. Which I'm pretty sure is a cereal they don't even make anymore. <laughs> Still, all brand new material. Murray used to get those. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can't sugar puffed out. Yeah, you can pile Sugar on. puffed out. It's a bit yeah. embarrassing being out of breath doing that. Imagine explaining that to my doctor. Um, do you do any exercise, Mr. Vine? Yes, I do, actually, yes. Uh, what do you do? Well, um, I've attached some variety packs <laughs> to the frame of an umbrella. <laughs> right, and then what do you do? Well, I sort of jump towards people, <laughs> opening and closing it. <laughs> How long do you do that for? Oh, about 20 seconds. <laughs> and you find that's enough? I do, actually, yes. I'm going to refer you to a different doctor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sing! Sing! That's the worst canary I ever bought, that one. <laughs> Don't know why, but I keep getting my head kicked in. <laughs> Do you know, I was on 
this, uh, I was on this fairground ride. One minute I was laughing, next minute I was crying. It was an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> He said, sorry, 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 sorry. I said, it's really annoying. He said, I know, I can only apologise. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've got a friend who's got a butler whose left arm is missing. Says him, right. <laughs> <laughs> so I was at this party and I said to this bloke, I said, I've just got off for one of the cheeky girls and I didn't enjoy it. He said, pull the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I want to be a film editor. He said, why? I said, to cut a long story short. <laughs> My favourite film was a film called Plectrum. Plectrum, yeah, just struck a chord. <laughs> when I was a cosmetic surgeon, this woman walked in and she was holding a canoe with a cow in it. She said, Botox. I said, I can see that. <laughs> it's the sound of a door closing, did you hear that? <laughs> No, that's it, that's it. Botox. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can tell you the rest of it, but I'm sorry, not boat and ox. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Can't we just creep out? No, I'm going to slam the door. I've got to make a point. No, <laughs> that's it. Hang on, you didn't hear that one. Here we are. That's it. So I'm going. That's it. Not enough. Yeah, I'll tell you what's gone, what, gone bonkers now. It's reality TV. Do you know, I watched a reality TV show in America, and in it, all the contestants um, were given their own tramp, and they could dress him up however they liked. It was called Does My Bum Look Big in This? <laughs> <laughs> Change channels as much as you can Change them Change channels as much as you can Change them Make up your own story using all the different bits of the programs you've seen <laughs> That wasn't remotely funny <laughs> Oh, and now it's time for Search for a Star. That didn't last long, did it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I was at a gig the other day. There was a tattoo artist in the front row and he started shouting at me. So I asked him to leave, he wouldn't leave. Then the security guard asked him to leave, he still wouldn't leave. It's actually really hard to remove a tattoo artist. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, now, hands up if you hold the world record for the javelin. Yeah, it was a long shot. <laughs> You know, I love sport. My favourite lesson in school was pee, jumping up and down in my wife runs. Oh no, wait a minute, that was geography. <laughs> and he's in prison now. <laughs> so this bloke said to me, he said, can you tell me your availability to run a football team in Sheffield? I said, I can't manage Wednesday. <laughs> so I was watching Match of the Day. And Alan Hansen said, Wayne Rooney is second to none. So why don't England start playing this nun if she's that good? <laughs> I heard an advert on TV and I got a guy with a very, very low voiceover voice and he said, two teams, one goal. I thought, the rules changed. <laughs> To a football match, they came on like that. Da, 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 da. It was Charleston Athletic. <laughs> I went to a football match in Japan, and the they started doing martial arts. I said to him, I said, What's going on? He said, There's two minutes of ninjury time. Instead <laughs> of injury. So I went, to, I went to the bar afterwards, and, um, and this football agent gave me an envelope full of manure. I said, No, bung, bung. <laughs> And then a referee walked in, I thought, it's all going to kick off now. <laughs> and he had, he had a face like thunder, and uh, that's a strange phrase, isn't it? Thunder's a noise. He had a face like... <laughs> there was a lady with him, she had a face like... <laughs> 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 and Eric Bristow came up to me. He said, how come you put super glue on one of my darts? I said, you just can't let it go, can you? <laughs> I tell you a group of people who are very in your face, dentists. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know I, I used to have a pet clay pigeon yeah, and I made the mistake of calling him Paul. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I get it. So, skateboards, where do you stand on them? <laughs> so if you fall off your bike, do you try again? Do you? Do you recycle? <laughs> <laughs> do you know, I went down my local rubbish dump and there were thousands of seagulls there. And I thought to myself, who threw them away? <laughs> 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 I, 
I bought a rug today. You can't beat a new rug. Well, you can, but what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> you see, I, I believe in climate change. The other day, I looked at a mountain and I thought I should climb it for a change. <laughs> And then this cup fell out of the sky, smashed on my head. And then another cup smashed on the floor in front of me. Another one smashed on my shoulder. I went inside the house. My girlfriend said, what's the weather like? Oh, I said, it's a bit muggy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a call from Friends of the Earth. They, they said I'd been eating too much pasta. Apparently, I've got a massive carbonara footprint. <laughs> <laughs> But you know those, you know those Superman T-shirts you see people wearing sometimes. There's a blue blue shirt with a, with a with a red <clears throat> S on it. If ever I see someone wearing a Superman T-shirt, I always go up to them and I say, uh, I say, I've got a shirt like that. And they say, Have you? And I say, Yes. And then I say, You know what that means, don't you? And they say, What? And I lean towards them and I say, It means one of us is lying. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to use that someday if that ever happens. Ladies and gentlemen, um, if there's one thing this act needs, um, well, it needs a few things, let's be honest. <laughs> but let's not break into the discussion groups about it. Um, Ladies and on the way here, um, I stopped off uh, and visited a friend called Lynn. Yes, I came via Lynn. And, <laughs> You know when you see a violinist do that with a finger like that? Do you know why, that, why they do that? It's because they're nervous. It's just what they say. <laughs> um, I'd like to, uh, to play a bit of this marvellous instrument for you. Um, hit the music, please. Thank you. Forgotten lessons. Back to Brute. I love a chicken Caesar. <laughs> Cheers. That's the whole thing. That's awesome. I must be the flag before Yeah. Are there any more props in here? Funnily enough. <laughs> Actually, it was slightly annoying. I was planning on doing that later on. I may still do it later on. You may have forgotten. <laughs> later on, I'm feeling sad tonight. I'm, 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 feeling, I'm feeling sad. I'm fe yes, my bereavement counsellor died today. I'll tell you what I'd love to work. I'd love to work on death row. All those people about to make that all-important journey. All those families with their emotional goodbyes. The way the luggage goes around. Sorry, not death row, Heathrow. <laughs> Mind you, I did one sit in the electric chair and I was fiddling with the controls, so I thought I'm going to make this thing work if it kills me. <laughs> but you know, I'd love to be able to eavesdrop on what people are saying at my own funeral, but if I did do that, there'd be certain things I wouldn't want to hear. Like, for example, I wouldn't want to hear someone say, I tell you what, Trevor, it's a bit of a low turnout, isn't it? Because I don't know anyone called Trevor. <laughs> Followed by my wife saying, I don't know, it's about the number of people I was expecting. Trevor, darling, hang on. <laughs> I haven't got a wife. <laughs> Do you know, when I was a deep sea diver, um, I never found any sunken ships. They said I was reckless. <laughs> You see, I've got five really, really close friends, and one of them is very shy. It's that one. <laughs> but um, that one ended there. I don't know. Um, I don't know how you saw on the New Year. I watched the fireworks on the telly. It's a silly place to put them. <laughs> I see they've invented a new unit of time between putting a piece of chicken in your mouth and the realization you don't actually like peri peri sauce. It's called a nanosecond. <laughs> Oh, what's in there? Yes. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> 
you know, if you chop a horse in half, then bang the two halves together, it sounds like someone riding a coconut. <laughs> Why do you pay so I of the doctors, I said, whenever I smile, my trousers fall down. He said, grin and bear it. I said, I have been. <laughs> he said, you've got repetitive strain injury of your eyelids. I said, that's a blinking nuisance. Because <laughs> diet, diet is important, isn't it? Porridge is a slow-release food, a bit like a tortoise, but less crunchy. <laughs> but, you know, I was once bitten by my Nintendo, and I had to have a Tetris jab. <laughs> And if you've never heard of Tetris, no pun intendo. <laughs> but you know, during the war, my great-grandfather, well, my grandfather, but he was a nice bloke. <laughs> he used to... He used to throw strawberry cheesecake at the enemy. Yeah, he was shot for deserting. <laughs> and when I was at school, the headmaster called me into his study. He said, he said, a stone just came through my window and landed on my desk. Are you responsible? I said, no. I'm irresponsible, that's why I threw it. <laughs> and then he made me hold my hand out and he hit it with a gold bar, and I think you'll agree, that's bullion. <laughs> you see, I, did, I didn't go to university. Did you go to university? I did. did you? All oh, right, you did. Did you go to university? He didn't, neither did I. I'm surprised we didn't bump into each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went to work on a trawler. And, um, and on the first day, I pulled in one mackerel. The bloke next to me pulled in 3,000 mackerel. I said, is this networking? He said, no, this is fishing. <laughs> <laughs> and then he held a maggot over my head. He said, he said jump, jump, and you'll be glad to hear. <clears throat> I didn't rise to the bait. <laughs> by the way, if you ever get attacked by a tiger, throw moisturiser at him. Yeah, blocks the paws. <laughs> This is where the fun will begin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, can't all these things. I think perhaps my worst invention was this rubber band wind chime. I think the world of you You think the world of me Love found us We didn't plan it <laughs> Let's keep the music going! Hit the Chasing butterflies, chasing them Chasing butterflies, chasing them Chasing people, chasing people Chasing people, chasing them Chasing butterflies, chasing them Chasing butterflies, chasing them Chasing people, chasing people, chasing people, chasing them. Racing butterflies, racing them. Why don't you bet on who the winner will be? Why don't you bet on who the winner will be? Go on, have a flutter. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's, uh, that works. it's my time of the moth. Bloke said to me, he said, he said, I'm going to dress up as a small island off the coast of Italy. I said, don't be so silly. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in this bar in America, and the barman was stood at the, uh, at the bar, and, um, and on his jacket he had a small blob of crushed strawberries and bananas. And I thought, OK, bit of a smoothie. <laughs> He said, how would you like to buy a small glass of vodka for two cents? I said, it's a cheap shot and you know it. <laughs> he said, I want a robber bank and I want you to drive the car. I said, get away. <laughs> so I went to this restaurant, all the food was created by special effects. Yeah, it was CGI Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> and the waiter came up to me. He said, uh, he, he said, can I get you anything? I said, no, I want you to get me something specific. <laughs> I said, can you talk me through the specials? He said, sure. He said, Terry Hall was on lead vocals. 
I said, um, I said, get me some ketchup. He said, sachet. I said, get me some ketchup. <laughs> Do you ever look at, look at a slice of gatto and think it looks like the front of a ship? Observational comedy. <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> but you know, I was once in a restaurant later and I asked the guy, I said, what food do you do to this bloke? And as he told me, he hit me. He said, he said, we, do, he said we do bacon, lettuce, tomato. Like that, he hit me as he said it. Bacon, lettuce, tomato. I said, um, I said what about to drink? He said, we do tea, milk, strawberry juice. <laughs> I said, what about pudding? He said, we do jelly, custard, trifle. Which, strictly speaking, is a combination of the first two. <laughs> anyway, that's the last time I have a slap-up meal. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've waited long enough. It's time for a different type of comedy. Hit the music, please. The Labour Party. <laughs> the Tories. <laughs> the Coalition. A bit of political sitar there. <laughs> oh my God, it's good. A small blue garden bird made of mahogany. Be great if I had a related joke. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Finish with that. <laughs> Hold on, the cob. <laughs> Ten degrees, fifteen degrees, one hundred and eighty degrees. I love angling. <laughs> There's not a lot of work gone into that prop, is there? <laughs> Thing is, I sit at home with a piece of card and a marker pen, and I think, well, I'll just try it. If it works, it works. You know, if it doesn't, you know, it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. That sort of work is more worrying. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think with my act, I should keep the beginning of the joke the same and just change the punchline. That's what I think. So I was working in a library. This bloke walked in. He said, "Have you got a bookmark?" I said, "We've got hundreds of them. My name's Tim." <laughs> So I was working in a library, this bloke walked in, he said, have you got a bookmark? I said, uh, I said yes, War and Peace, three out of ten. <laughs> so I was working in a library, this bloke walked in, he said, have you got a bookmark? I said, see that scar? Someone hit me with a Bible. <laughs> so I was working in a library, this bloke walked in, he said, have you got a bookmark? I said, as a qualified referee, I feel Mark deserves his yellow card, so yes, I've got a bookmark. <laughs> You know when you go to you know when you go to shops and they have greeting cards in different sections. They have like birthday cards, anniversary cards, and uh, and you know good luck cards. Um, this one I found here. Look, it says any occasion, and it's a picture of a misty lake with a sunset in the background. And I thought to myself, that's not quite any occasion you could send that, is it? For example, sorry to hear your husband's disappeared. <laughs> It's a strange thing, but most of my ginger friends are well read. <laughs> so I said to this bloke, I said, I know everything there is to know about every single town and city in Scotland. He said, Mother, well, I said, a bit of arthritis, but she's all right. <laughs> so I got home, my mum had filled up the garden with llamas. I said, What's going on? She said, You told me the one thing this house needed was a llama farm. I said, No, a far alarm. <laughs> She said, I'm in, I'm in all your jokes. I said, you're not in all my jokes. She said, I'm in this one. I said, this isn't a joke. <laughs> See? <laughs> so I went to Sardinia, and um, there's not a lot of room there, is there? <laughs> I was driving along in my car, and a motorbike went past in the opposite direction. As he went past me, he said, this is one way. I said, yes, and this is another. <laughs> Probably, like me, um, or maybe you don't. <laughs> you probably wonder what's the best way to travel in the Middle East? Is road, is air, is rail? <laughs> but ladies and whenever I go to a department store, I lean to one side. It's my shopping list. Come on. Column. Woman with left leg missing seeks man with right leg missing for stable relationship. <laughs> Woman who likes.
likes hitting men in suits of armour. Seek similar for nightclubbing. <laughs> Man with no imagination seeks woman to do the unthinkable. <laughs> Man who likes women of all different faiths, Sikhs included. <laughs> so, well, this cable TV is hard to watch, isn't it? <laughs> what's happened to the? Where's the? Where's the? Where's, where's the thing? Where's ah? I nearly lost that. <laughs> so I was in my garage and my strip light broke. Obi-Wan Kenobi walked in, he said, why don't you use my sword? I said, you're an absolute lightsaber. <laughs> and behind him, ladies and gentlemen, behind him was a baby deer writing with both hooves. It was Bambi Dextrous. <laughs> so I said to this bloke, I said, I said I'm, I'm really disorganised. He said, you need a PA. I said, can't you hear me? <laughs> So I was walking down the street, I saw a sign outside a shop. It said, why not start the day with a bacon sandwich? So I went inside, I said, can I have a bacon sandwich? He said, we don't sell them, it was just an idea. <laughs> and then a pirate walked in, he said, I can't find my crow's nest. And I said, that's your lookout. <laughs> See, no one's too sure who invented the bandwagon, because a lot of people said it was their idea. <laughs> So I said to this woman, I said, where do you keep your money? She said, purse. I said, where do you keep your money? <laughs> it pains me to say this, but... <laughs> I fractured my leg in a motorway service station. That wasn't a welcome break. <laughs> By the way, if you, ever, if you ever rob a pet shop, um, never do it with a blocked up nose. Um, I did it once, and all I came away with was a rabbit. Because I walked in, I said, um, I said, give me a buddy, give me a buddy. <laughs> give me a buddy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're a fabulous audience and we're halfway. <laughs> no, you have been absolutely wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, if you, if you take just one thing away from tonight's show, um, could it be your litter? There's been a real problem. <laughs> um, <laughs> Remember, ladies and gentlemen, no matter how old you are, no matter how many times you've loved and lost, no matter how many of your dreams have drifted off on the wind, if you can laugh, it probably means your lungs are okay. <laughs> I'd like to end with a song for you now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you've been beautiful. And uh, hit the music, please.
Alright, Google. <laughs> you definitely have to watch them bake. The jungle out there. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Lejo, you've been you've been really wonderful to be, to be here. Um, it's uh, it, I haven't got any other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and really, I, I really. <laughs> um, uh, pardon? Well, listen. I, listen. I I think it's lovely to to reminisce about other DVDs. And, um, <laughs> they want to do pen behind I didn't your... bring the pens with me. Oh. Yeah. What? Here's one. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Pen behind your ear. Pen behind Let's you. do it. Yes. Okay. Well, look. This is. You know. This. All right. All right. <laughs> what were you, I didn't hear what you were chanting. What were you chanting? Do it. Right. Okay. I am, um, because it won't like, work like that, will it? That'll take ages. <laughs> Get through that bit there. Um, I, no, I can't do it. I've done it once before. Oh, I'll just do, I'll, just, I mean, this, isn't, this is just because I feel like yeah, I appreciate the fact that you've all come here. You may, this won't be on the DVD. This is just a private performance. <laughs> and I haven't got the music either. <laughs> So you have to do a low-level pen behind the ear, pen behind the ear. Maybe not yeah. with clapping. Would it be hard if it wasn't with <laughs> Pen behind the ear, 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 pen behind the ear. Yeah! Oh, that, was that was quick. That was very fast, yeah. Well, you're getting better at that. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, listen to this applause. I can't use any of it. <laughs> sure you can. We're watching it. No, 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 that really... <laughs> Hockey stick. You're also going to go, I've got one. Hockey stick. Are you? Hockey stick. <laughs> Behind the ear, you know? Yeah. You've been there. You've been brilliant. And, um, and we've got some... My brother's here. So a round of applause for Jeremy. He's here tonight. Remember who he is? Is that the guy everybody hates? Oh, is that Jerry? Hates on? His brother? Oh. And the comments. I, I, um... I'll do my impression of my brother. Hi, this is Jerry Vine, ready to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ken. Was he a video guy or something? Yeah, yeah. today we're going to be talking about flower arranging and gun crime. <laughs> <laughs> They cover a lot of stuff on that show, they certainly do. Anyway, thank you very much for, and that's, for that guy there, that's enough as well, like someone's walking out. No, I'm sorry, the combination of flower arranging and gun crime brings back a horrific memory. <laughs> thank you very much for coming out, and good night, thank you. Very, very kind of you. One more time. Okay. Fantastic. Preventing you from hitting the floor. Preventing you from hitting the floor. He's got to stay. He's got to stay airborne. Preventing you from hitting the floor. Preventing you from hitting the floor. He's got to stay. He's got to stay airborne. Preventing you from hitting the floor. Preventing you from hitting the floor. He's got to stay. Preventing Lucy from hitting the floor. Preventing Lucy from hitting the floor. It's gonna hit a lot harder, trust me. He's gotta stay. He's gotta stay airborne. Can't keep Brad airborne. You sassy production. Is it a hand? Is it a sassy? Okay, I got it. A sassy production. Okay, that was that was funny. Oh my god. 
He never disappoints. He's a dead banana. He's a dead torch. I He's almost. A dead banana. Oh, I think my banana pooped itself. Oh, got a little spot there. <laughs> it's a walrus. <laughs> Hi, we're mature. We're a sea lion. <laughs> I put you on a beach naked. <laughs> Those things in your mouth, <laughs> in your nose. Um, All right, I'm okay. like baked out of my mind, so I'm just Okay, we need a break. <laughs> that was funny. I hope you guys enjoyed that. feed the beast. Yes. I'll, keep, I'll get it on as soon as I can. Bye. <laughs> okay, whatever. Bye. And now for something completely different.